Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to start off with me painting my face white using Ben Nye's Clown White Cream Paint. Um, this stuff can get a little messy, um, and last time I used it, it was really hard, so I had an idea to heat it up a little bit with a hair dryer. Um, I know people tend to apply this with their fingers, but I wasn't about to do that, so to mimic warming the product with my fingers i just hit it with the blow dryer a little bit and it seemed to work pretty well um i got a lot nice uh a lot nicer of a coat of paint um i definitely struggled a little bit when it came to blending <laughs> um the sponge i was using probably wasn't the best one i could be using for this um, but you'll see I'm, I'm bringing it down my body and you see all these little rings of product where there's more on the edges of the sponge than there is in the middle of the sponge and blending that out was kind of tricky. Um, I went in with a dense brush and tried to blend it a little bit around my eyes and nose, but that didn't work, so I went back in with the sponge and tried my best to really pat out any clumps or any bald patches, um, trying my best to get a nice even but opaque coat of white cream paint here. I knew for this look that I was going to be wearing um, a long wig, so I wasn't too concerned about painting my shoulders or anything like that, especially since I didn't want to get my wig covered in white paint. <laughs> um, here I'm going in with the Ben Nye Clown White Powder, um, and I definitely didn't do the best at setting the cream paints. I think that the cream paint was just a little bit too thick almost on my skin that even though I was dusting powder all over it, it wasn't setting. Um, I think I should have definitely gone in with either a powder puff or something and really packed the powder on to keep this stuff from budging. Um, I did take a powder puff and I used that to disperse some powder onto my face. And there I am a little bit horrified at how yellow makes your teeth look to have a white face. <laughs> um, anybody who paints your face white nose what that looks like um, and then I'm just taking a cheek brush and some black eyeshadow and I start contouring um, I wasn't really thinking about what shape I wanted my face to be I was just trying to make it look not flat um, when I painted my face white it looked very one-dimensional so I wanted to bring in cheekbones, uh, hollow out my temples a little bit, uh, and then my nose definitely looked a little too chunky, so I wanted to slim down my nose. And uh, it was a little tricky to do, but I think I got there after working at it for a little bit. So I'm just using a little skinny eyeshadow brush as well as that cheek brush. And I'm going back and forth trying to blend out the harshness of that black eyeshadow without making my face look patchy. And we're not going to talk about what palette this is, but I'm using a white eyeshadow here that's a, a nice bright white eyeshadow. And I'm bringing back the highlights on the bridge of my nose and under my cheeks that were lost a little bit in the blending of the black shadow. More blending and more blending. That's really the trick to anything like this. And here I'm just doing a little bit of a stretch and going back in with that white shadow. And here I picked up a smaller eyeshadow brush and using that same black shadow that I put the shadows in with, I started doing some eyeshadow 
on my eyelids. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a smoky eye, but because it's just black and white, um, you know, just trying to make kind of a nice winged eyeshadow shape, um, something to, to widen the eyes a little bit and, uh, make the face look slimmer, I guess. I was struggling a little bit because the cream paints were not set completely, so once I started to blend the shadows, I would pick up the cream paint and then it would just turn gray, and then when I would go to dip back into the eyeshadow, it didn't want to pick any up because the brush would be covered in cream paints. Um, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but we got there <laughs> bit by bit. And then here I just bring it along the lash line a little bit. Sorry if this is kind of uh, out of frame. It was a little hard to see what I was doing with the mirror off to the side there. But you can see the finished product whenever I look up at the camera. <laughs> I really like how wide that made my eyes look, especially since I had black contacts in, that made my eyes look a little bit bigger. Um, it was definitely very, very feminine, but also kind of ghosty, spooky, whatever. <laughs> and then here I'm just taking a black Milani lipstick, and I'm trying my best to fill in my natural lip shape. My natural lip shape's a little funny because the shape of my lips and where the color stops is not the same. So if you ever see a close-up of my face, the color of my lips stops before you get to the edge of my actual lip shape. So like where I pout and the edge of my natural lip shape is farther down than where the pink color of my lips stops. <laughs> So, if I fill in just where the color on my lips is, then I look like I have really small lips. But if I fill in my natural lip shape, it gets a little wonky. Um, because I have a lower, a larger lower lip than my upper lip. And then I try to balance it out, and it's kind of a mess. It's kind of like that thing where when you're drawing eyeliner wings, and you just keep trying to even it out and even it out, and they get way bigger than you wanted them to be. I do that with lipstick all the time. <laughs> and here I'm just taking my uh, large Wet n Wild liquid liner uh, felt tip pen. It's the, I don't know what one it is, it's the large one. And it's got a chiseled edge and I like filling in my brows loosely with that when I'm doing something with black brows. And here I took some NYX Epic ink or Epic Wear white liner, and I drew in some fangs. Um, I do end up changing the lip look momentarily here. Um, I decided that I wanted to put in the mandibles of a spider, and uh, I wanted to make the lips kind of spiderweb looking. <laughs> um, it, it was definitely tricky because the lipstick that I had painted on was very dry at this point and the product didn't want to lay down on it evenly. It wanted to kind of skip around and uh, took me a couple tries to get something that I was kind of happy with as far as the spiderweb texture goes. But here I am just taking some uh, gray face paint and trying to make it look like I have mandibles. Um, different spiders have different pincer shapes, so <laughs> I wasn't really looking at any one reference, I was just kind of winging it here. And uh, here's my first attempt at drawing the spider web shapes on my lips. Um, but off camera I wiped it off and I tried again <laughs> because I didn't like how it looked the way I did it the first time. Or actually, not off camera. It was on camera, <laughs> but still, I uh, 
I cut the camera then and I, I tried it again because I didn't like how it looked. And you know, that's, that's the truth. When you use water activated paints or really any paints, you know, you can use makeup remover and you can try again. There's no harm in wiping it off and seeing if you can get a better result than your first attempt because you might not always like what your first attempt looks like. Here I'm trying it again. <laughs> Tried it a couple times until I finally got something that I was a little bit happy with. And I didn't like it and I cut off and I tried it again. And then when I came back, um, having done white spider webs on the black lips, I decided that I wanted to paint in some black spider webs under the eyes, but I didn't want it to be matching, like symmetrical, so I didn't do the same thing on each side. So for the one side, I did it kind of off to the side of the eye, like you see here. And this is just black water activated body paints, nothing fancy. I think spider webs are something that's really simple to paint, but also very elegant looking when it's done correctly. Um, you don't want your lines to be too thick, and you definitely want that subtle curve in the connecting web pieces. And then here on the other side, I was doing it more so on my cheek, and you can see I was kind of looking down at the mirror I apologize, it, I apologize for it being kind of off-camera at this point in time. <laughs> and even though this footage is sped up, it's uh, pretty slow going because I was taking my time to draw it in. This is uh, 300 times speed. And some of the footage earlier was 500 times speed, but I was really trying my best to make it look nice. So that's all I'm going to do as far as the body paint goes. And then I'm going to come back with a black wig that I put some fake spider webbing on, as well as some fake spiders. Um, I got one of those bags of orange spider rings from the dollar store and I spray painted them black and then I found this cute little spider necklace and this spider hat <laughs> at Walmart believe it or not uh, they have a lot of really neat Halloween stuff and uh, I thought it came together to be this kind of cute spider bride kind of thing and there's the final look I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you continue to support my 31 days of spooktober <laughs> trying my best here to crank out a video every day so uh i hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching